Hello people, I'm Bharat Acharya. Welcome to a new video. So, in today's video, I'm going to teach you this program of determining whether a string is a palindrome. Uh, if this name instantly strikes your mind, you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen question papers, this is one of the most frequently asked questions in Bombay University. I'm sure in other universities also. It's a hot favorite question. Why? Because it's a very long program. It's actually a combination of two programs, string reversal and string comparison. Now, let's start. First of all, what do you mean by a palindrome? A palindrome means a string which is forward and reverse the same like madam, M-A-D-A-M or civic, C-I-V-I-C, Nitin, anybody with that name, no offense, I'm just using it as an example. So uh, these are palindromes, so that's a question. They will give you a string, theory, paper, practical exam, either way, they'll give you a string, they'll tell you, write a program to determine whether this string is a palindrome or not. Now, tell me, uh, how do you determine whether a string is a palindrome? It's very simple. It should be forward and reverse the same. That means, take the string, reverse it, and then compare the two, simple. If these two strings are the same, that means the string was the same forward and backwards. Did you understand the idea? So what else did you understand? It's a combination of two programs, string reversal and string comparison. Both of them are 10 mark questions. String reversal is another very favorite question. That's the first half of this program. So if you know palindrome, you not only know this program, you know two more programs. Moreover, there is so much to learn in this program. Students, when they uh, uh, give me a call last day, just one day before the exam, and they're in this panic state and they say, sir, I've done all the theory, I've not done any single program. Please tell me one or two programs to do. I don't have the time to do all programs. This is a program you must do. Okay? Why? Because this program teaches you a lot. Not only those three programs that I said, palindrome itself, uh, reversal, comparison. This program teaches you how to deal with arrays. What a big uh, advancement in programming. Till now you've been working with variables. But if they give you a string, where are you going to store the string? You can't store a string in a variable. A string is a set of numbers. So a single number is stored in a variable. A set of number is stored in an array. So in this program, you learn how to create arrays. So you'll be creating two arrays, one in data segment, one in extra segment. The given string will be stored in data segment. There will be an empty array that you will create an extra segment in which your first part of the program will reverse the string and store over here. And then both the strings will be compared. Can you please tell me why did we store the inverted string in extra segment? Come on, answer. Because yes, if you learn string instructions, if you don't know string instructions, first learn that. You can't do programs of string instructions without knowing string instructions. If you've done string instructions, you know, compare strings only works between data segment and extra segment. So your given string has to be in data segment. The inverted string has to be in extra segment. Only then they can be compared with, with the help of compare string instruction. Okay. So you learn how to create arrays. You learn some very interesting assembler directives. DUP stands for duplicate offset you learn this instruction which is very rarely used in programming but is important lea lower effective address so there's so much to learn in this single program that's why i tell students if you know this program you know a lot in programming okay so uh, that's what we're going to do so that's the scope of this video now you know what i've been doing this was an introduction you want to watch the whole video Come to my website bharataacharyaeducation.com the link will be given down below uh, all you need to do, it's like any other website, first create your login ID, then select the processor you want to learn. There are videos, there are numerous videos, there are more than 150 videos on that website so far, divided in various channels. This video will be there in the 8086 channel, so if you want to watch this video, select your 8086 channel. There is a payment, of course, I'm not apologetic about it, this is a professional service, this is a full-time job for us, so obviously there will be a payment to it, but I've kept the payment ridiculously low. Uh, it's a tenth of what we ask in our classroom lectures. Anyway, so what you need to do is make that payment and instantly your subscription becomes active. There's no delay, there's no holding period. Make the payment, you'll bounce back into the same page. Now with your active subscription, you can watch all the videos. In 8086, there are already about 40 videos. You can watch all the videos again and again and again, as many times as you want to, till the time you absolutely thorough with it. Not only the videos, along with the videos, I've also given my book for free on the website. Uh, it's given chapter wise. So whichever video you're watching, the contents of my book for that particular video, like for example, if you're watching the palindrome video, the actual palindrome program with the diagram with everything will be there in the form of a PDF. So whichever topic you're watching, you'll get not only the video, but the PDF. So the advantage of that is A, from the video, you understand the topic. B, from the PDF, you prepare it for the exam because it's a different thing to understand something. It's a different thing entirely to know what 
to write in the exam. Uh, in engineering, you know, <laughs> I don't need to tell you, it's not easy to find the correct material. There are so many prescribed textbooks which are all thousand pages each. Uh, I'm sure you've read all of them. <laughs> And if you go through the local author books, yeah, they are compressed versions, but half of the information is either incomplete or sometimes even incorrect. So you don't even know whether it's reliable, whether you'll get marks for that. So because I've been teaching this subject since 18 years, okay, I've done more than 1000 batches. Uh, I have a fair enough, uh, nobody has entire knowledge of anything. Anybody will be a fool if he says or she says that I know everything about the subject. But yeah, I have a fair enough knowledge of the subject. And from that, from all the prescribed textbooks, I never refer to local author books because there's no point. Uh, from all the prescribed textbooks, whatever is the best writing material, I've put that, put it simplified in my own language and I've made the book. So I've given off the book for free along with the videos. You watch the videos, you get a PDF of the respective topic for free. Okay. And if you're an Android user, you've also made an Android app. The Apple app is in production. It's going to take time. The Android app is already up. It's been used by more than 2000 people already. So hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well.